The next type in the dirty dozen are probability questions. For probability, the thing that you need to do is find the total and put that on the bottom of the old fraction there. And then on top, you put the part. The part is whatever they're asking for in the question. Let's look at one real fast. Number 25 gives you this nice graph. Uh, one can will be randomly selected from the bin. These are the things in the bins. What is the closest to the probability that the can collected will contain fruit or sauce? So like I said before, you want to put total on the bottom, not the cereal, and then the part on top. So the total in this case would just be adding them all up. So 2578 plus 1359 plus 1240 plus 580. So on the bottom is 57. 57. On top is the part. Now that's where you have to listen to your reader or read. Fruit or sauce. Here is fruit, here is sauce. It can be either of these two things. So you need to add them together. So 1359 plus 580. Get 1939. Put that on top. Then all you have to do is make a nice little fraction for yourself. I did it this way and got 0 0.3 three six so my answer is point three four very very simple just find your total first and then figure out what they're asking you to do and put that amount on top another one much like it is number 41 what is the experimental probability that there will be a tie between Carlos and Amanda they actually played the game that's where the experimental thing came in now, the first thing we need to do, of course, is find the total. And then we're going to put the part over top. The total, 4 plus 5 plus 3, would be 12. The tie would be 3, because there's only 3 of them. That's the part. So I just do 3 out of 12, and that reduces down to 1 over 4. You may have heard my phone go off just now, or maybe not. So my final answer is 1 over 4. The one that you are going to work on also very easy so when you see remember when you see the word probability don't freak out and think it's this amazingly complicated thing just find the total put the part over top of it and also if they have the word not in there it includes everything except what they wrote down so be wary of that number 54 the name of each student having perfect attendance for the semester is entered into a drawing for a hundred dollars 16 freshmen 10 sophomores 8 juniors and six seniors have perfect attendance what is the probability that the gift certificate one will be won by either a junior or a senior either a junior or senior two minutes go